What is going on everyone? Jels from Fitment Industries and I'm with... Dakota from Fitment Industries. And, and Claire from Fitment Industries. Welcome back, Claire. It's nice to be back, Jels. <laughs> we are back with another episode of From the Gallery. We went ahead and picked five cars from our gallery today, JDM edition. So we're doing Ooh. some JDM cars, everyone's favorite. So if you want your car featured in an upcoming episode of From the Gallery, don't forget to add it over at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. There we go. And then email us at shop at fitmentindustries.com with subject line review my ride. We'll make sure to throw it in the massive Excel spreadsheet that we have and we'll get to it. I promise, we'll get to it. One day. All right, we ready to get into yes. it? Yes. Yeah. All righty. We have a 2006 Honda S2000 on some Workmeister S13 piece. All right. Front 18 by nine and a half plus eight with 18 by 11 zero offset in the rear and some Toyota Proxies R888s on some Jeez. BC Racing coilovers, which is kind of awesome because we're doing a giveaway with BC Racing. Oh, if you yeah. haven't entered yet, pick up the shirt. I don't have the shirt, I'm sorry. Don't yell at me, oh. I was not ready. <laughs> I was not ready at all. You pick up the shirt, Dakota will show you the back. It's kind of like the coolest shirt we've ever done. So uh, we're is. really excited about it. Win some free set of BC Racing VR coilovers. Hell yeah. Help out a good cause at the same time. Anyway, Cody, you can start this off. Hell up. yes. I f***ing love S2000s. <laughs> Whoa. My I love had, them. And he'd always let me drive it and he'd let me beat the piss out of it. And they're one of the funnest cars I've ever drove. And it blows my mind because it's an NA4 cylinder. You wouldn't Drogen. think. An NA4 cylinder would be that fun, but it is, I promise. I feel like he's got to do some like track stuff with it, you'd think. I mean, running R888s, I mean, you normally don't spend that kind of cash for that kind of tire and then just drive it on the street, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. So he's got some aggressive tires on there, which is awesome. I love the work wheels. They look phenomenal on there. He's got the brakes to match the calipers. It looks super good. I love the wide body on it. I'm not even a big wide body guy, but with S2000s, it looks super good. I think it's because it's just already a small car, so when you make it a little bigger, it looks good. Yeah, I, I don't think I have anything I would add to it. Okay. Uh, I'm not a big wide body stance fan either. Don't kill me, but I really enjoy this car. It's got nice wheels, nice tires. It looks great. That's the key with stuff like this and setups like this is a right. lot of people tend to cheap out on it. Yeah. And then right. just kind of brings not, it yeah, he way down. Cheap out at There's all. no cheap part on that car, no. I think. And it's beautiful. It's clean. It's kept, from what I can tell, it's kept nice. Everything goes together very well. All the accents and all the colors. And he did not cheap out on this at all, so I can appreciate that. I think like Dakota mentioned too, like usually not a huge wide body fan, but kind of looking at the kit on this, it looks like it does fit together really, really it's nice. Like um, I think one thing I do like about the S2000s is that usually those front like wide body pieces, like the front fenders, they are just a complete like fender replacement. Yeah, right. So it's right. like, you know, you do get that kind of molded look to mm -hmm. it. Um, but the rear does look nice too, even though it is, I probably would have liked to see I guess the rear molded just to kind of match throughout. But other than that, I think there's really nothing yeah. I can really say about this car. The color combo is perfect with a bunch of the carbon accents. You got the polished wheels, everything real nice. Yeah. Oh, and this is Hood Heroes 2006. Oh, nice. IG In Instagram, I got you, I got you. <laughs> All right, we ready to rate it? Yes. All right, on three? Yep. All right, one, two, three, nine, nine and a half. five. We got a 2005 Honda Civic on some Japan Racing JR12 17 by 8 plus 40 square setup with some Hankook Ventus V12s, Ooh, the Ventus V12s and some baby. airlift performance Ooh, air look suspension. At that thing. Look at it's this. It's so cute. <laughs> Just kind of looking in to see whatever else he's got done here. So OEM P quick release steering wheel, custom front and side splitters, Mugen, Mugen. Mugen. spoiler with Mugen. sparkle flake, Mugen. sparkle flake paint. Straight through, cat back to five inch muffler. Jesus. And he's, got some, he's got some seats in it too. I think it's a nice little car. I mean, I'm not trying to offend anyone when I say it's cute, but it, <laughs> it's kind of cute. Like, it's just a little guy. My girlfriend always says that when we're at a car show, we'll be looking and she's like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And like, I mean, the guy's standing there, I'm like, no, 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 like, that's, it's that's not cool, so, don't do that. It's so small. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's pr done pretty well. It looks clean. I like the style of it. The colors all go well together. It looks yeah. like it's sitting at a nice height. Um, the nice little touches like the steering wheel and everything is always great. And custom stuff is always cool too. I just can't get over the <laughs> five inch exhaust, but hey, <laughs> you do you. Yeah, no, I really dig it though. I think this guy pulled off that body style 
really, really well. Uh, the airlift performance is super cool. I think the fitment, you know, going with the tucked fitment, probably just to get it, you know, as low as he has it and stuff like that. So overall, I think the car is in absolutely great condition. I, I love that he's touched pretty much every part of it. Um, that exhaust is, <laughs> is, is massive. Thick. I like it overall though. I think it's super cool. I like the style that he went with of it. You know, nice and subtle. Nothing too over the top, except for that sparkle flake paint, which I can't get over. <laughs> I really like this thing. I think it looks phenomenal. It's in great shape. I think it's really cool. It's on air suspension. Uh, I don't know too much about Japan racing wheels, but they don't look too bad on here. They look pretty decent. In my opinion, I would have went with a little bit wider, different offset to get more mm -hmm. of a flush fitment. I'm not a huge fan of tucked. Sometimes you can pull it off. In my opinion on this one, I would have went a little wider to get a better fitment on that end. But I love all the little modifications that bring this thing together and it just looks really clean, really simple. It looks like it'd be super fun to drive. I would love to drive one of these. Yeah. Just because the shifter's all freaking in the dash. <laughs> and weird shit. All right, on three. One, two, three. Eight. Six, Six and a half. All right, next up we got a 1992 Mazda Miata on again, some airlift performance suspension with some work CR01's 15 by nine, negative six in the rear, or in the front and 15 by nine and a half, negative 12 in the rear on some Toyo Proxies so wheels. Now this is number one Mondo. I, I dig it though, I do dig it. I love that it's on air. He's got some really nice stuff going on with it. The only thing that's like kind of throwing me off on this is that rear, but I love that it's a hard top too. I think the hard yes. tops kind of like really make those Miatas stand out. Um, just kind of makes them look like little RX-7s a little bit. I don't know. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Small. No, I love what he's done with it though. I think like the setup that he's got, like the style of the wheels are really cool. They're kind of like an old school design a little bit. For sure. It's just, it's just really like a retro look, but like kind of twisted with the stance and then the airlift performance on there. I can appreciate that he's got some nice wheels and tires on there. It looks like it's really clean. I love the hard top as well. It's not like, you see a lot of these that are like really mm -hmm. overdone and yep. it's a bit much. Hey, yeah, you um, can't really do a lot to like those generation yeah. Miatas, I mm -hmm. feel like. So I'm glad he kind of kept it at a nice level where I'm going to do mm -hmm. a lot, but not too much where it's he like, did a all lot. right, yeah. what is that? He did a lot with the wheels, tire suspension. Yeah. Like he's done a lot with that. I can appreciate it. The rear fitment is a little weird. It is kerchewing a little bit, <laughs> especially in this Kill. picture. But yeah, other than that, I think he did a great job with it. It's a happy little Miata. So I mean, there you go. You're just gonna look at it and you'll be happy. You know? Know. <laughs> I'd run some smaller tires on there or maybe some different size wheels. Ah, he could fit them. He can make them fit. It'd be fine. It still looks good yeah. and I like it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling the gold banner, red and gold. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I do like it. It's hard top, like you guys are saying. I'm not a big convertible guy. Even with S2000, I like it more when they have the hard yep, top. Yep. Like I just, I think it looks a lot better. So that looks good. It looks super clean, like it's in really good condition. I guess I'd like to see maybe a diffuser on the rear or something like that. I like the little duck billy is going on yep. there. But these Miatas are super fun cars and this one does look good on air and everything like that, yeah. so. Cool, on three. Okay. One, two, three, seven, seven and, and a half. half. Up <laughs> next, we have GT86 Alphas, and if you can't tell oh, by the name of that Instagram, we have a 2015 Scion FRS on some Rota Torx, 18 by nine and a half, plus 35 on some Federal 595 RSR tires on some BC racing coilovers. All right, so looking into it, we got some unequal length headers, a must, NVIDIA N1 exhaust, you know, the whole deal, yeah, the wind jet. Pretty, uh, yeah. The wind jet headlights. This way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got the nurse spec style spoiler on the rear, which I'm falling more in love with every time I see a freaking car with that wing on it. Dakota tells me every day that I need to get that wing on sure. my car. Overall, looking at this, I absolutely love the color combo with this car. He's got the, got the silver, more of like a gray color, and he's got the blue, dark blue wheels on there. Um, the headlights look great. The fitment on this overall is very nice. The nine and a half with a plus 35 is like almost like the go-to when it comes to these cars. Anything, anything between like a 35 and a 40 is gonna fit really nice. Sure. So he had a little bit of stretch with the 225, 40, great coilovers with the BC Racing coilovers. Could not be done with the two, but you know, just adding some more aero around the car. It's kind of my thing, sure. so. Yeah. I really like the color combo, yep. like Jels was saying. The silver and the blue looks phenomenal. His fitment's on point, looks super good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the little tow hook thing in the front. I really do like the wings on these cars too. Like I was saying, I always tell Jels to get one. However, in my opinion, you need to have some arrow with this. Like, yep. you gotta have a diffuser, you gotta have a splitter, maybe some canards if you're liking that kind of stuff. Cause it's tough to pull this wing off just on a completely 
stock body car. It's, it still looks good, but it just looks so much better when the car's filled out a little bit more. Um, it looks like you have some federal tires on there. That's a super popular choice on our website. They're pretty affordable, and I think that's why. All right, so the color combo, it's all right. I mean, it's different. I agree with you guys. I think it needs a little more aero, like you guys said as well. Not a big fan of the tire letters and all the stickers. Just rip them apart. But I don't really like the toe hook either. <laughs> ah! um, the wing is... Uh-oh, here we go. Um, big rip. It's nice. I just look at it and I think, okay, they took that off of an STI and stuff. <laughs> it does kind of look like an he STI. He actually had it labeled as STI wing on there. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> I didn't even oh, see bro, that. What are you doing? See? It's carbon uh -huh. fiber, though. Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't even know that. It's carbon fiber, though. I mean, if that helps. I know. You no, it doesn't. No, 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 no. That's a big no no. No putting <laughs> badges on your car that don't belong. No. Rule no. number one. Bad. Stat. Just stat. Okay. All right. Uh -oh. It's My overall rating is. It's all right. I'm sorry. Well, you got to give I'm it a number, though. Yeah, yeah I know. Just give it an all right. <laughs> well, I know, but for now, all right, one, two, three. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. On three. I want to say this so bad. I won't. One, two, three. Eight and a half. Five. All right. So up last, but certainly not least, we got a 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution Ooh. on some 59 degree north <laughs> wheels. Never heard D0s of that I can't today. say I have either. Uh, D004 is model 18 by 11 plus 15 square setup on some Yokohama Ooh, Advan voice. Niova 8008R 28530 on some BC racing coilovers. Again, another one. Wow. wow. So I think this thing looks freaking sweet. The arrow on it is awesome. Um, the fact it's making that much horsepower, this thing's got to be a blast. Like, and those, I, I'm just trying to figure out the 18 by 11 plus 15 with. A 45 millimeter spacer. What is thick? How? The hood looks sweet regardless. I love the roof rack pictures. The, the pictures with it, with the roof rack. I think it looks sick. I don't know. It's weird. It's different. It has all this aggressive arrow, kind of a stance of wide bite, and then just has a roof rack with tires on it. I think it looks freaking sweet. It's different. The only thing I'd say is the, the spacers are throwing me off. And I've never heard of those wheels, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. They do. You never heard of 59 good, degree north? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, what the all right, hell? Clay. All right. I really like the red accents. I know they're minimal, but you do notice them. Overall, I think it's really well done. I like the diffuser on the back as well. I like the roof bumpy boys, the vortex generator. Uh, there's a couple things I would do different, but it's making good power. And I do, I think the roof rack on there, I think that's pretty neat. I like it. I like the arrow on there, the canards, all that good stuff. And I like the carbon hood. As Dakota said, I would maybe do a carbon chunk to match. So. From the pictures, I love that he obviously, he drives this thing, he's got pictures on the track. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's just like, what, a sunset cruise or something yeah, like that, still he's fun. still driving the crap out of it. I love that it makes a ton of horsepower. The wide body kit that's on it is very subtle. The roof rack throws me off a little bit. I, I'm not a roof rack guy. I don't, I don't get it. Well, he has like some pictures either, with the roof rack off, right? Yeah, he, yeah okay, so he, so he makes up for it. And, and, it. and it looks like he's carrying a spare tire on his roof rack to the track. Are we ready to rate it? Yes, yes, yes. One, two, three, eight, nine. Seven and a half. I was gonna say seven and a half, but I went with eight because it makes that much power like that. Yeah, uh, I, think that's, I think that's, that's really what it did me. Like the Finman was good, it makes a ton of power, it looks Just good. The, spacer. the only reason I even debated it <laughs> yep. was the spacer. Why? Like, bro, what the fuck? He's trying though, he's trying. I don't know what else you want him to do. 18, right? or 18 by 14s, I can't find <laughs> Just tell us what you're doing and why. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of From the Gallery. JDM edition, I guess we can call it. Pick up the shirt. Yeah, if pick up the shirt. If you didn't plug it enough, go get it. Please. Yeah, easiest way to enter in and win a free set of coilovers from BC Racing. I don't know what else, and, what yeah. else you want. That's Wheel tire shirt. suspension, fitmanindustries.com. All that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Gels. I'm Dakota. And I'm Claire. We'll see you later. Peace. Peace.